Hello, Esther. Yes, today I have one of the movers and shakers of African jazz in Africa with me. His name is Constant Boti. In the world of international jazz, Constant is well known for his unique style of fusing West African folk, jazz, and electronic music. I've performed and recorded with him as a vocalist and lyricist in New York and Cote d'Ivoire. This man never stops creating, collaborating, and also building networks to promote indigenous Ivorian culture and jazz in Africa. Constant. It is great to have you in studio. Uh, thank you, Heather. Yes, I'm very happy to be here. So yes. what is going on? What, what brings you to the United States this time? Well, you know, uh, I've been uh, nominated uh, ambassador for, uh, like a goodwill ambassador for uh, culture and also, you know, to empower women uh, activities uh, and uh, development in uh, West Africa. It is the Queenie Inc. Uh, nonprofit organization that uh, appointed me and I'm very happy to be here. Okay, are you doing any music? Yes, I will be performing uh, during uh, the event. I invited uh, some of my musician friends and uh, will be performing. Uh, I will be, uh, first of all, speaking about uh, my engagement as uh, ambassador. Mm -hmm. And also, I will be uh, performing uh, my music and also some of the music from uh, our place in uh, West Africa. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, tell me a little bit more about Queenie Inc. Queenie Inc. is... Uh, uh, a non-profit organization based mm -hmm. in U.S. Okay. But uh, there are activities in Africa, especially in uh, the Marawi region, has been uh, very much uh, 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 highlighted by uh, helping uh, women. It's like empowering uh, women and also uh, uh, helping uh, young kids uh, to develop uh, their thinking capacity. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, this is what my heart responds to. Mm. And they have been promoting uh, cultures of uh, that region especially uh, the Zauli music, oh, I love the that. Zauli dance. I and, love uh, the Zauli dance. It has dance. been uh, very much... Uh, can you do good. that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can but, try. Oh, all right, we're not set up for that now, but how about a song? Would you like to play something on your guitar? Yes, sure. What are you going to play? play? I will play uh, a tune that is uh, my composition. It is called uh, 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 Coup de Food, and uh, I mix it with uh, jazz harmonies and West African uh, styles, you know? Yeah. <laughs> your influences well my influence is uh, as a musician you know first of all you see I'm a guitar player I think uh, and as I see, see uh, Kevin Eubanks you know Kevin Eubanks yes. John McLaughlin and uh, you know some of the flamenco guitarists like uh, Paco de Lucia mm -hmm. you know so these mm -hmm. are my main influence what about the so, African side the African sound you know in Africa I listen mostly to uh, the music from the balafon and most of the musicians, uh, I don't uh, know their name, but mm -hmm. I know that uh, this tribe, they play this kind of instrument, and I really listen you to listen that. You listen to that. Yeah, the yeah. balafon, for those of you who don't know, is the xylophone. Some call yes, it the xylophone, yes, some yes. call it the balafon. And the balafon sound is mainly in my uh, music, like when I'm doing this kind of a sound like this. Uh, so, you know, 
Oh, nice. I like uh, blending uh, the sound of the balafon in my music. Wow. So, yeah. Well, listen, I would love to talk more <laughs> and hear more. I'm sure yeah. everyone else would, but it's time to go. Oh, Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for yeah. having me.